the blessing of the Lord causes to prosper, to do well in all that you do. So, when I have to preach on finances, I preach without any, without being, without being, um, feeling constrained in any way. Or oh, this is not what people want to hear. In fact, I, I'm sure when I have to preach on. T- preach on prosperity i'm sure what i have to say i don't speak as a blabber so this morning i want to teach and i've been we've been teaching on the laws of increase and today i want to take it further for quite a while in the foreseeable future i'll be teaching on laws of increase especially in our sunday services so today i want to teach on the law of increase giving We've said it again and again. Increase is God's nature. No one gets involved with God and remains the same. It's impossible. You might have gotten involved in something that looks like God. While Paul wrote to Timothy in uh, the second letter to Timothy, having a form of godliness and denying the power thereof. But true godliness is profitable he said now in his first letter first timothy and chapter four he said godliness is profitable unto all things but if you don't have godliness and you run with something that looks like godliness you are not sure god in it is in it it has a form of godliness it has no power second timothy chapter three say, says having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof but first timothy chapter 4 and verse 8 says godliness authentic godliness not a form of godliness godliness is profitable unto all things having a reward in the world that now is that is in this realm your reward will be evident and the world to come you are assured of eternal life so increase is god's nature increases god's will everything god god gets involved in stands to experience increase now we described it it can be increase in form increase in quality increase in size increase in impact increase in awareness level increase in dominion but everything god gets involved in stands to experience increase and i'd like to begin to show us from scriptures here many at times when god gets involved with a person or a family an organization a nation you can be rest assured the end result of such a relationship personal relationship family relationship a conscious introduction and involvement of god in the affairs of an organization a company a nation such bodies either a person or a group of people or a nation such things that get involved with god can never remain the same increase is one of the byproducts of such relationships but i like to say this the foundation to increase from god is the revelation of god Many people, when they hear increase, when they hear God wants to bless you, when they hear God will bless you, the, immediately the, the sidekick in the mind, the gear is thrown in the direction of money, money. Too much money. Oh, worry. Oh. I will revisit that before I close the service, not the message. Too much money. Oh, worry. Oh. All right. So, but when God says, I will bless you, when God says, I will make you to prosper, the beginning of increase from God and increase in God is the revelation of God. And you look, for example, into the scriptures and you begin to look into lives of personalities, people like Abraham. And Abraham started to walk with God. And Abraham decided to come to stature and substance. The beginning of Abraham's increase in God was not material. 
in fact like i've taught us he studied genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to verse 5 how god called him the promise god made to him his obedience to the promise in verse 4 and then in verse 5 it showed his condition when he started to fully obey god 